call the member for Hornsby and Minister. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Tonight I stand to acknowledge a milestone for one of Hornsby's great sporting organisations, the Asworth Soccer Club. For 50 years, this club has been an institution in our community. Run by dedicated volunteers, they've grown into a mighty force and tough competitors in the local competition. Priding themselves on being the family-friendly club, they've helped foster a love of soccer amongst the entire community of Asquith. In fact, there are many families which have dad or mum in the seniors division and kids in the junior teams, making it truly a family club. The club is completely run by a group of hard-working local volunteers who fill the role of managers, coaches and committee members. These volunteers are the lifeblood of the Asquith Soccer Club. There are countless volunteers who have gone through the club over the last 50 years, too many to mention today. I thank them for helping make it the club that it is today. Their dedication for their local club is nothing short of amazing, and I'm not surprised that kids keep coming back to play for the mighty white and blue year in, year out. Their hard work doesn't just stop with the club. They get involved in many community events, such as the Asworth Carols, which raises money for the Hornsby Karinga Women's Shelter. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the life members of the Asworth Club. Sam Castle Nouveau, Alan Davis, Neil Harris, Derek Harwin, Tony Stevens, Gary Tyneman, Chris Hemming, Stephen Hemming, Jeffrey Myers, Jason Brown, Richard Pilgrim, Michael Persh, and Michael Lamberger. A life membership is never given by the club lightly, and some of these volunteers have given more than 40 years to the mighty white and blue. Thank you for your dedication to our local community. The current committee is headed by club president John Humphreys and Darrell O'Brien assisting as secretary. Evan Burns, Grant Harlow, Adrian Scott, Julie Creasy, Mark Williams, David Harron, Kieran Rice, David Berry, uh, Evan Burns, Matt Westrip, Robert Lee, Ryan Farrow and Pia Scott all assist in the day-to-day -day running of the club. Without these amazing volunteers and all the volunteers who've come before them, the Asworth Soccer Club would not be the place that it is today. The Asworth Soccer Club first entered a team in, the 1969, in 1969 in the Division II competition. They were champions that first year and right through the 70s, the Asworth Strip dominated the Division I competition. Their all-age team also regularly made it into the top four. Then in 1979, the first grade team were both runners-up and took out the one and only KDSA Cup for the club. While the reserve grade side were also premiers that year, making it an extremely successful year for the club. The next 10 years saw a dip in the club's success. While the top team couldn't break through the drought, the reserve grade side was able to win three straight titles from 1982 to 1984. Uh, this decline continued until 1992, by which time the Division I team had slipped down to Division IV. However, the community was behind the club and the volunteers, players and supporters were determined to see it succeed again. Over the next 10 years, they continued to pour their heart and soul into the club. And by 2001, they were back in Division II and won the title, which gave them promotion to Premier League. The club was now a strong competitor again. They went on to win the Premier League title for five years straight. This set the record for the most consecutive Premier League titles by any club. In 2004, Asquith were runners-up in the New South Wales Champion of Champions tournament, and the Premier League reserve grade were also winners this year. With, with this great success, the club has grown stronger, and by 2009 had men's teams in first and reserve grade in Premier League, Division 3, Division 4, Division 5, Division 6 and over 35s. This was also another year the Premier League side took out the trophy honours. Asquith Soccer Club isn't just about the men's sides. In 2009, the club had an all-age Division 1, 4 and over 35 sides in the women's leagues. More recently, the Asquith Club has moved away from the Premier League squads and instead focused on the grassroots development of upcoming players and significant growth of girls and women's football. The club now has three women's teams, ensuring up-and-coming junior girls have a senior team to progress into. In 2014, the Division 4 team took out minor and major premiership and earned promotion to Division 3. The men's over 35 team were runners up and the women's over 35 team were Division 2 champions. While the junior teams had five out of seven competitive age teams reaching the final series. This season, 2018, the Asquith Club received an, uh, achieved another milestone of over 500 active registered players across 34 teams having almost doubled player participation in seven years and more teams than ever right across juniors, youth, girls, women's all age, over 35s and now men's over 45s. The players, parents and local community, including small business sponsors, identify with the values and spirit of the club. Their support at Asquith Oval for their teams and a club as a whole has, is nothing short of phenomenal. You will often find home games filled with families having picnics on the sidelines. 
Asquith Soccer Club recently won the Hyundai Goals for Grassroots, which saw their junior team take the field with the Sydney FC players during the A-League final. They also de are deserved recipients of the New South Wales Local Sports Grant, which has provided much needed funding to purchase playing strips, footballs and equipment, such as defibrillator for installation of Dasquith Oval. This club is a shining example of the character of the people of my electorate that I have the pride and privilege of representative representing. Congratulations to Asquith so Soccer Club on reaching this impressive milestone and may there be 50 more years of successful football to come. I'd like to thank the member for Hornsby.